are in the midst of our 2024 stewardship campaign. You may have noticed like there's a giving tree out in the narthex and receive mailings this week. And in the spirit of Sesame Street, today's stewardship message is brought to you by the letters ASP. Oh. Jesse Lee has volunteers participating in Appalachian Service Project now for more than 40 years, and we've grown to become the second largest local ASP organization in the entire country. This past July, 268 teens and adults from the Ridgefield area worked to repair people's homes and to provide a little hope and love uh, for a week down in Virginia, Tennessee, and Kentucky. And you know how Bill sometimes, he will, while giving a benediction, will quote our bishop by saying, get out of here meaning go out and do Christian things. And on the first Sunday morning of ASP, as we're about to go out to our different counties, we have a devotional service, and sometimes the message to the kids is, have a difficult week. And what we mean is not that we hope that their home repair work gives them fits, but what we mean is if you're really truly open to the ASP experience, it should mess with your head. It should be transformational. And to leave this beautiful town of Ridgefield and to go down and help people, folks living in abject rural poverty, that should get you thinking hard about yourself and about others and about your role in the world and your role as a Christian. ASP impacts not just the families we serve, but also the youth and the adults who go down and volunteer. So two years ago, that Sunday message was given to us volunteers by a, a young woman named Kate Fleming. And Kate did ASP all four years of high school and continues to do it and when she can as a student at Loyola of Maryland. Her message was so inspirational and so much more eloquent than have a difficult week that we asked her to do it over, that we asked her to record herself saying it so that we could play it for you. So I invite you to listen to it this morning, not perhaps, perhaps imagining yourself as an ASP volunteer about to go out to a week of home repair, but also mainly as a parishioner of Jesse Lee Church, who through your pledged giving can help to fund the operations and important transformational missions of this church. Thanks, and this is Kate Fleming. Hi everyone, my name is Kate. I am a six year participant with the Appalachia Service Project through Jesse Lee. Um, I'm a student at Loyola University, Maryland. As you can see behind me, we have our beautiful chapel. Um, so I thought I would film this message here. Um, this was a message that I gave to Dickinson County this summer in, um, at the beginning of our trip in Buena Vista. Um, so I'm gonna share it with you all today as if you were going to be um, going on this trip. Um, so this is what I, I wrote. It's something that means a lot to me in life is intentionality. And to be intentional means to make deliberate choices that reflect what is most important to you. And it helps us reach goals we may have, experience clarity, be more present, and increase our focus and commitment while bringing greater meaning and purpose into our lives and the lives of others. So whether it's your relationships with others, your schooling, your work, or your service, being intentional with your thoughts, words, and actions is to me the greatest way to be truly known by others and to better know yourself as well. And I feel that in our daily routine, we more so show our intentions through our actions, um, which we have a great opportunity to do this week. Um, I would like that ASP list their mission, vision, and beliefs on their website. It's available to everyone. And it's really amazing to see how these align with how volunteers live them out. Some of my favorites that I like to keep in mind throughout the week when we're working and we're all in community together um, include we accept people right where they are, just the way they are. We believe that all people should be able to live in affordable, safe, and sanitary housing. We are committed to witness through the good quality of our work and careful stewardship. Where ASP is involved in local communities, we will encourage, affirm, and support the fair and just treatment of people. And the overarching why, why do they have all of these beliefs, is because they believe in ministering in the spirit of love, acceptance, and hopefulness. And I love that statement. Um, we believe in ministering in the spirit of love, acceptance, and hopefulness. As I've experienced ASP for several years, I've seen people be so moved by this spirit of love, acceptance, and hopefulness. 
Um, and our theme, Love Strong, really spoke to that. Um, so I'm very proud of every participant for choosing to dedicate this week to serving others. Um, this week comes with a lot of moving parts and challenges that will cross our paths in some form. And so if at any point this week you feel discouraged, frustrated, worn out, these are all feelings that very well may arise. Um, please keep in mind the intentions that you've set for yourself and remember that God is working in you, using you as a vessel of love, hope, and inspiration in the lives of others. Um, you decided to come on ASP and be a part of this experience because you chose to and um, because God knows how he plans to use you for good down in Appalachia and I think it is a great gift to be used um, for good uh, and to be of service to others. Um, so for this week, I hope that we're all able to live out um, the service that God has called us to be a part of and keeping his purpose in mind for us as well as the intentions that we ourselves can set for ourselves um, this week. As we begin the second leg of our journey, I encourage you to continue to put your all into this week, set your goals, reflect throughout the week, that you're doing all that you can to fulfill this mission that you've chosen to be a part of and that God has called you to. Um, may we all be blessed this week in good health, good spirits, and an abundance of joy and love. This is one week a year that we're all a part of transforming lives um, and you can see it firsthand. And I pray that that spirit of transformational change continues to encourage you beyond just the one week of the Appalachia Service Project. And remember that it is such a gift to be able to be of service to others and be used for good. Thank you.